Hello everybody, welcome to tonight's stream, we're going to be taking another look at Morphite. The open style space platformer that's kind of hard to describe there. If you missed the actual spotlight of it on the channel, it is available. I'm going to be trying to do something special here as well. I have my smartphone, I'm going to see if I can somehow lock into my own stream and see if I can actually w get the chat up on that. And if anyone knows an easy way of doing this, I would really appreciate it. But, I want to see if we can sort of use modern technology to get this to work. Uh, hey, Sun Gun. that work. This will be crazy if I can do this. I have my little chat window up right here on my smartphone. And I also have it up here as well. But let me jump into it and we'll get back. I just need like a proper thing to rest the chat on. Alright, so here we are. If you are new, this is kind of a, an open style adventure game. We have missions to go on, but we can also explore the universe and see what we can find. Yeah, the fact that YouTube, they removed the editing tool so I can't splice footage through the YouTube editor anymore. Flying here. Don't have access to any weapons yet. Yeah, the low poly no man's sky. Gotta get all these lovely resources. I don't know what I just missed. Oh. Yeah, I think that was my shield. I got something. Let's get random items. Yeah, I would agree with that. really nice. Let me raise the sound up just a tad. The power source is on the other side of the bridge. Looks like they have quite a little journey ahead of them. Mira, good luck out there. Thanks, Kika. Again, we're looking for things to scan in order to hopefully sell or get upgrades in the future. <laughs> yes, and the music is always welcome indeed. What is this? I need to head back to the ice planet that I was on in the spotlight. What the heck? Get away from me. I'm stuck on me. Whatever the heck that thing is. Oh, I did play that, uh, Rogue, uh, Pylon game. And unfortunately, it's not hooking me. That's it. Die. Wrong thing.
And this was one of the Embargo games. But I have a few other ones. The Battle Rogue one, or Pylon Rogue, is not under Embargo. What the heck? I don't want to shoot the rabbit thing. Just hold still a second longer. There's a thingy over here. We're still in the early stages of the game, so it's not gonna be too crazy. But like I say on the chat, it's a nice like game to zone out to. What in the heck are these things? We're firing the power supply. That is definitely some synth uh, retro music right there. Those things sound like Donald Duck. <laughs> I'll get another upgrade. Ah, here we go. I was not finding these resource deposits during my hoarding. I got something good. something here that I'm missing. I can place down my warp pad anywhere. Ah, I see what I missed. Someday we'll get some kind of rocket boots and then we'll be good. Oh, get up there. Now let's get going. Hmm. 
I see something good over there. Finally, some ferrogen. Nothing. Oh, so this is what I got from the other planet. Shot that already. That must warp me back home. And hopefully this is where we get some good stuff. Uh-oh. Can't wait to get the. This is why I'm going to upgrade the scan as like my very first thing. What the hell? I can't shoot you. My gun should recharge slowly but surely. Assuming when I get that upgrade, I can actually see the enemies on the map. Oh boy. There's another one. And if you miss the spotlight, there's a story two more fight. But well, it's definitely framed around the go where you want, do as you please kind of narrative. If I wanted to just like pick a direction and explore in the universe, we can do that. And we're only really gated by whatever our upgrades are. Uh oh. If they're giving me a checkpoint, that can only mean something bad's about to happen. What the hell is that? It's a large bird like predator with Take cover. Uh oh. Must be the knob. There is a nest over there, near the large tree. And that's where the power source is, I bet. You are correct. Oh. There's not supposed to be bosses in this game, it's supposed to be a relaxing game. I promise a relaxing time for everyone. Yeah, relax and boss. <laughs> and me with my basic little plasma rifle. Oh. Now where the heck am I? Uh-oh. Gotcha. I just thought I could have scanned him, but I don't think there was any way for me to get the scan locked onto him for long. Hmm, I scanned this thing already. Alright, what do we have? There's that retro ping.
on the ship. More fight if you miss the spotlight. It's kind of like the super yeah. resource in this universe. Oh, hi, Kika. How did I get here? It wasn't easy getting you onto the rock pod. You are nothing but that way. Thanks for making me feel better. You passed out Is after you picked up four the problem. Down there? Do you remember anything after that? I, I don't know. I, I just remember seeing flashes of light and... the universe exploding. I saw more fights spreading out everywhere. That sounds pleasant. <laughs> Kika, we need to show this fragment to Mr. Mason to see if he has any ideas about what it is. I already upgraded my engine a few times. Okay, there's that. Pretty sure we need lasers. Sell all my common scans. We don't want to sell the rare stuff because that's what I'm going to be using for upgrades. Just recharge. Upgrade that. Alright, now we actually have some weapons. back over there. Alright, it shows where I've been so far. Alright, let's go. time to go exploring, because really that's the majority of what Morphite is. Uh-oh. Got some Star Wars going on here. I love designers like sitting around trying to come up with the names for all these crazy places. Hopefully we'll find some rare stuff, or at least some minerals I can use. First or business, upgrade the scanner, increase the speed. What in the heck are you doing, buddy? Did I piss him off? He 
you see more variation than No Man's Sky already. <laughs> I see a cave of mystery over here. It looks like most of the mineral deposits are in caves. And more Metroid after playing a virus, or I'm sorry, a robot named Fight. Keep confusing that with a virus named Tom or something. That game from uh, Misfits Addicts. Misfits Addict, there we go. Huh. You scan a butterfly. this. You talking about a uh, robot named Fiolgurdum? I got an achievement. I assume for going around scanning every thing I can get my hands on. Yeah, I would agree with that. It's a, it's one of those names that it doesn't really say anything about the game. Hey, buddy. Hold still. I have a feeling something bad's about to happen. Oh, found something good. And I'm sure all these mineral deposits will come back to aid me at some point. I just realized we could probably just like stop talking and just like zone out to this music. We oh, there's something shiny down there. So now I can land on hot planets. Which reminds me a lot of Star Control 2. And having to upgrade the landers for specific areas. Although I just landed on Mercury right at the start and just like played a game how long I could survive. I guess here's a bit of a challenge. How the heck do I get out of this place? Yeah, the draw distance is a little bit low, I would say, for this. Come on, get up there. Oh, no idea how I made it up there, but I made it. So from here, I'm going to say, might as well just leave this plan and move on to the next. I have to throw this where I can actually drop it. Uh, no, I did not play a Xanadu. Alright. I do love the idea that I can basically recall from anywhere else or recall my drop pod anywhere as long as I'm not undercover. There it comes.
now I can land on the very hot planet. Ooh, music's picking up. Oh, here we go again. What wonders away us now? does not do all that much damage, does it? <laughs> it would be nice if the game actually like showed me what scans I already had. So I make life a little bit easier. I think we have this one. But I'm sure there's a set number in the game. distance there. Now the question is, how do we get over there? really good. Two more rare scans. We have time to scan for things while giant monsters are trying to eat me. Hmm. No minerals, though. Faster, right from the get go, we would be good to go. Really good thing we don't have to worry about oxygen right now.
apparently found something special there. Oh goodness, please tell me there's actual collectibles in an open universe exploration game. Show up on my list of items. <laughs> exactly. Can I use my grenade on these guys? I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Stop chasing me. Alright, that was cave number one. to show up. I hope that view of you like leaving and entering the planet. Alright, there is a space station right here. Let's see if we can buy something. Upgrades being the main form of progression, that's basically it. Like, we're going to, that's like kind of like gonna be our main draw for stuff. Alright, we can skip the landing. Alright, can you actually upgrade? Alright. That's going to help out. Hmm? What's 
Zerg Plus. Find slime. Okay. I need like a uh, sweeping device or something. So we'll have to head back. Oh, jeez. Get away. That 50 Ferrogen is going to come in handy for upgrading the scanner again. Right, let's head to our next locale. This one of those games, I'm not sure like how long we'll be interested in seeing it for. I figure we can shoot for like an hour and a half, maybe a little bit more depending upon the interest level. But I'm sure you could all just um, put this on background, just listen to the synth music. A bit faster. What the heck is this? Is this a creature? I see a side quest here. But 
I can't get up there. for any caves and MacGuffins here. plan must have its own species of mushrooms. Oh. I wonder at what point we'll get like rocket boots or some way to up motion here. I can upgrade my plasma pistol. We're not going to be able to do too much of these creatures. As you can see, it's also only really good at short range. Oh, that big guy was still chasing me. Bye bye, everybody. Hmm. Going to another hot planet, it looks like. Maybe one of these days I'll go back to that Long Journey Home game. The kind of roguelike space exploration. much here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Don't mind me. You see? Hoping these pillars mean that there's something good around here. As you probably have already guessed, the planets that are designed around missions or the main story are the biggest ones. Hmm. Oh wait, I think I see someone over there. And 
Winter City. Or oh, Cyber City. Oh. Welcome to Cyber City. We have the best prizes. Don't want to sell my resources. Hmm. Why not? Knew all that ferritin would come in handy. We've gone from 10, I'm sorry, 20 to 70. You know, the music reminds me of like that 80s like synth music like we heard on, um, what was it, Cosmo? better scan. Scanner upgrades, I think, will be set for speed. Hmm. So there's something interesting over there. over the music because it's just so interesting to listen to. From what I've seen, I haven't found any other weapons yet. But I don't think I'm really far in terms of the main story, so there may be additional weapons that get unlocked. One last thing I want to look at on this planet. I just want to see what's down there, those two blue squares. Yeah, the grenades was the first real story mission. Oh. 
So that's why I'm assuming more gear becomes available as we get further in. Yeah. We're gonna get up there and see whatever that cool thing is. Come on. Oh, that's interesting. Thing the game one right now is definitely the uh, draw distance is a little short. And like I said in my review or my video spotlight, this is one of those games that you will either fall in love with, or you're just gonna get bored of it in like 10 minutes and never look at it again. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's uh, focus a little bit more on the story. That way, we can hopefully get some of those goodies unlocked, and that will just overall help us out in the long run. Kind of reminds me of like what I do in a lot of open world games, where I'll just focus on so many side quests that we forget about the main quest with the goodies that get unlocked, like I did with Shadows of Mordor. Here, we've been there, there. Let's make our way back to the quest. Yeah, I did the same thing in one of the Far Cries, too. And then when you go back to the main missions, you just dominate everything. Yeah, I'm going to be working on a critical thought about some of the dangers of unfocused procedural or random generation. 